Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could conceive. And after several nights, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Then you would get more and more adventurous, and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now.
Hey, what's up, folks? JT Dubs, we're back in action. Gimbal baby, welcome to the workshop. So, uh, you got anybody out there watching? Four viewers? That's pretty cool. Alright, so this is uh, a bunch of stuff that I can work with. It's like I can use these little things and uh, put stones in them. So we'll be doing some of that. Here's some stones I just pulled out of the old Tumski. If, if for any reason we need more stones, we can use these. They're uh, Montana agates. Oh, a little echo action. So, we got some Montana agates that have been pre uh, freshly polished recently. Cool uh, steampunk bracelet I made. Let's just need a stone for that. Maybe we'll start out by putting a stone in there. And uh, where are we going to get the stones? I got a whole bunch of them. And I will be grabbing grabbing those in just a second. I had to build myself a little studio in here this morning and uh, it's actually pretty sweet. All right, so I bought all these last uh, last year at the end of the year, and uh, I got a ton of shit in here. There's, I mean, this goes pretty deep. They've already been cut into slabs by a different lapidary, and uh, these are basically all his fuck ups. But 20 bucks got me the whole thing. I know it says 12 on there, but this is like fucking so many different buckets that he poured into this thing, and. Uh, we got some good stuff here. We got some good stuff here. This is like a fucking blue maggot. I got a lot of that stuff. That's actual moss inside of quartz. So we'll be doing some stuff with that. Oh yeah, butt monkeys here, eh buddy? We got uh, a lot of this stuff going on. Got some of this. This is a bunch of, I can't see it very well. Let me if I go right here. A bunch of fossils inside of a stone slab. That'll be cool. We've got tons of agates. Agates for days. I can't really... Some fucking metal things. That. That's kind of cool. Be able to cut that. Yeah, from what I remember, I think we were talking about lapidary one time. Butt monkey? Like you were kind of into it? Maybe that was someone else, though. Talked to a lot of people about lapidary. Yeah, these, these plume agates are amazing, though. I mean fucking the moss is like right in there that's ancient that's like uh, Jurassic Park right there in a stone so what we gotta find is we just gotta get that first cut out of the way guys that's it once we get that out of the way we can do anything so
We'll just trace her out on, on this little thing right here. It's about the same size. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, take this sharpie and go whoop. Get a, you know, a rough size of what I'll be working with. Try to get it to the edge so you don't have to cut off as much. It's a trick that I uh, came up with one day. <laughs> Alright, so if you look at this, it's uh, quite a bit of it's on there. Nothing too crazy. And I'm just going to go over here and just uh, use this thing and just go with the sides. Now this is a it's a regular standard tile saw, but I outfitted it with a really badass uh, diamond blade on it, which really wasn't that expensive. And as I cut this thing, I can smell iron in the air, which makes me think that there's probably a lot of copper in it. And uh, that's kind of neat. Shit cuts really good. So already we're got pretty good rounding going on. It's starting to actually get the size of a quarter pretty fast, which is awesome. Let's see here. I lost my Twitch chat, so I'm gonna pop her on and see what people are saying here. Chat. Oh shit, Gimbal Baby, did you just sub this shit? Dropping bucks? Fucking awesome, thanks buddy! Hell yeah! Yeah, thanks for the su the sub, Gamble. All right, so uh, I can't really tell much what's going on with chat right now. I finally got my stream popped up again. So I apologize if I'm not speaking directly to you. It's, a, it's a kind of, actually kind of a funny setup. I've got the bench on one side of me and the screen on the other, and my phone's running out of batteries, so. The old shop's a little rusty, but we're just going to use this old tile saw to shape out the stone. And uh, once we get the rough size, we're actually still quite, quite a bit bigger than we want to be. Damn, maybe I can just put it in this thing. Use a different one for steampunk. Well, either way. What I like to do is I like to rough it out on my tile saw. And I just unplug that, and then I move over to my ripper. This is a little device I built. I have an old motor. Let's see if I can get a good shot on this. And uh, I built this thing out of an old electric motor that my dad gave me. And then I ordered a diamond blade for it off of Amazon, of course. And uh, fuck, man! After all that, I ended up with a device that can shape any stone that I. Uh, that I please. So that's kind of tight. And uh, oh, 
Oh, gimbal. One thing that I am is it is focus. Uh, these blades, while they are sharp, they're sharp in a different way. They're more like giant sanders. So if I do get, like, nick it with my finger, it doesn't do anything, which is pretty cool. So now I've doused my uh, diamond blade, and we're going to just start ripping into this shit. So, like that, and I just go right over the blade, and that's where I do my fine work. I do this, we just take a little bit off the edge. Oh, I know, you know, for me it's uh, it's the scheduling. I can only do this from 10 to about, you know, 5 at night at the most. And I think that's almost pushing it. So it's hard to get those days in where I can actually make time to do this even though it's once it's running it's awesome but it's just getting the momentum to make this stream happen and uh today i just was i said damn it i'm gonna do this i have to do this summer's almost over i wasted enough time and uh i'm gonna try to knock out a bunch of shit today or at least get it ready for tomorrow and then all week long i'll be working on various things hopefully but yeah it took a while And last year, my kitchen flooded, so that ended my whole thing, because I was too busy fixing that. I don't know. We're running now, boys. We're running now, boys and girls. So I'm going to do this, and I'm just going around it, cutting a little bit off the edge. This diamond blade will tear it off, and, you know, every once in a while, just give her a little bit of a douse. A drip will be fine. I don't have the drip system set up yet. I'll have like a drip that'll just drip over this blade. That's basically the idea that you want. You know, and you can buy these things, but they're like a thousand dollars. Or you could build it out of a bunch of, you know, spare parts. Which is what I did. Spare parts in an Adderall. That's all it takes. Yeah, Gimbal, if I can find the time, I'm going to definitely push it. I want to make some rings this week. I have a whole bunch of rings that I'm going to make. I got bracelets for days. All this shit was bought from you guys that donated to me. I took and I reinvested the whole works into the workshop, so I've got a ton of stuff to cut. And I thank you all, because... Uh, that was huge. Say no to drugs, but not all of them. <laughs> First stream I ever did, I poked myself in the thumb with my uh, Dremel tool, and uh, it went in pretty deep. So that happened. So what we got here, it's getting closer to the right size. You see this this little part right here is kind of like uh, the size we're looking for. So if it fits in there, it'll fit in there. <laughs> Words to live by, right? <laughs> if it fits in there, it'll fit in there. <laughs> That might be a little lowbrow for the stream. And what we're doing is we're just removing the material. We're letting the blade do all the work, folks. 
You know, uh, stone cutting is awesome. Because at the end of the day, you got a bunch of cool shit that's guaranteed to outlive you. And uh, I think that's why I do it, you know? I've always been interested in buried treasure. You know, and now I make it. Now, what a lot of lapidaries do, I don't, it's kind of dangerous, you know, I'm always real close to the blade, but what most lapidaries do, and the way you probably should do it, is uh, using these little posts here, and what it, uh, you mount it to the post, and then you can use the post to actually shape the, shape the um, stone that you're cutting, but when they're the size of a quarter, I don't have a problem holding them. It's probably dangerous. But god damn it, sometimes Danger's gotta be your middle name, and today, Danger's my middle name. Fuck Dangerous Murphy, 420. Hell yeah, fucking Bucks Workshop. Good, feels good to be running it again. Maybe what we'll do today is we'll make a bracelet, a ring, and a necklace. Ooh, this is coming along pretty good, dudes. Check that shit out. All steampunk and sweet looking. Decrepit and old. From a time that many may never see. It's gonna be badass. I can tell right now. I can tell right now.
Yeah, it's pretty sweet too. I built this this uh, machine, and now anybody's birthday, I just come down here, grab a rock out of that big thing of rocks, and uh, start making jewelry. And it only takes about 20 minutes. We are just about there. It's, things are starting to fit pretty good. I bet they'll already fit in this thing. Close. Ooh, that's deadly close. We're gonna take a little bit more of this material off and uh, we should be able to fit this in the steampunk wristband. Buck Murphy's Workshop. You're tuning in. Gimbal Baby's already subscribed. Who's next? Who's next? Oh, my subscriber, my subscribers used to get free stones, but I never mail them out. That was the fucking worst part about the whole thing. Ha! So, I had to stop the stone giveaway. There's probably a few people out there that never got stones. Sorry. But, uh, I'll get them to you someday. I'll get them to you someday. For the most part, I got most of the subscribers. And they help push the stream. And, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be forever in debt with those people. I just couldn't keep up, fuck, I could barely even get the stream off the ground, I'm so lazy. ADD, man. But I'm proud to say today I am Adderall free for this particular stream. Alright, we got her to snap in, look how cool that looks. I'm gonna give it a lick and we'll see what color it's supposed to look. Ooh, look at that, you can see the iron in there. Fuck, it's super tight. Steampunk. So what I'm gonna do, pull her back out of the old steampunk uh, bracelet, and I'm just gonna take the sides here, and I'm just gonna round the sides. Don't worry, folks. Completely safe. Gonna round this off. Now I'm working with little cut slabs because they're easier for this, but if I had to, I have a giant saw that would allow me to fucking cut my own slab. It's just a lot of extra work. Today I'm just trying to turn in and get, get some pieces made. So if we look at this, we're starting to get the edges a little bit more round. Now I can do this with this shitty flat lap, but like I wanted to cut a diamond and I wanted to give it some, uh, you know, facets, I'd need a different style lap, uh, lap machine, which is in essence the exact same type of wheel except for it would have a gauge that would come up the side and it would hold the diamond and I would just click away being able to cut the facets. It's pretty badass, but it's pretty much the same method. Now in Brazil, the kids will cut uh, rubies. They use a wheel that they just get the momentum going and then they can cut it. Right on oh, they don't even use anything real fancy. Basically just a stick with an octagon at the end of it. And uh, that, and it, like the people that are doing it are like maybe 13, 14 year old kids. <laughs> For like a dollar a day. look at this right now we're gonna notice that the edges are really getting rounded which is exactly what we need what we want folks we need to get this thing looking legit right
this time, I'm just gonna check in on chat and see what see what is going on in there. What's up, Timmy? Hope you're feeling good, my man. Maybe the seas will make you feel better. Alright. So right now we're just gonna do some... Just pull right across that blade and pound her off. This is like a scratch method. I don't know if that's like an official name you can call it, but that's what I'm calling it right now. Kind of, I just scratch it right across the wheel. Scratch, scratch. Oh shit, tonsillitis. Did they take your tonsils? Do they still do that even? I don't even know if they still take tonsils. Alright, boy, this is looking cool. See, I I like this stone. It goes with it because it's got a bunch of copper in it, so it kind of already has that steampunk look to it. smoke out my cam and I think I smoked me out. Alright dudes, I'll be right back. We are back, dudes. I try. I got a perfect camera angle going now. Now you can see everything just right, which is what we're looking for. Oh yeah, let's, 
How many people we got in here watching right now? We got a few people going? Oh, nice. Thanks, Gimbal. Fuck, buck. Buck for the buck. Thanks, buddy. All right. So, uh, what's next here? What is next? Let's see here. We got this thing mounted in there, but I could take it out at any time. I think the next step is going to be to get a little bit more rounded. Just going to give her some of this. Give her some of this sweet loving. After that, we're going to have to take her over to the fucking arbor. Now, uh, on this workbench, we got a few tools that I don't know if we'll get to today, but we have a really big saw. We got a drill press. That's like a wet drill press. We've got a Highland Park Arbor, and uh, Highland Park is a really well-known company that's been around in Lapidary for fucking centuries. And I actually got an actual Highland Park Arbor sitting right here. Look at that thing. That was my first piece in, in this whole workshop. And uh, what it is, is it's got these belts on there, these, these big, uh, they're like, wheels and in the wheels they have diamonds embedded into like rubber and uh, what what it does is it's for polishing stone so really all you need to polish a rock is diamonds and water that's it that will is all it takes to polish stones water and diamonds different grit levels of course and uh, the diamonds are actually embedded into these wheels so. And if you thought diamonds were worth anything, yeah, they are, but not really. They're just kind of worth money on paper, but really, there's, there's, they're not worth anything because they're rarity. So, secrets out. Diamonds are worthless. They just cost a lot. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good so far. I think what I'm going to do now is uh, attempt to move this baby down a little bit. Maybe we can get some shots of us uh, cutting stones with the arbor. So we'll just uh, lower this thing like so. Do, do, do. Crank her down. And then we'll pull this one back a little bit. And then we'll just move her over to this right here. Alrighty, so what you're do looking at right now is the belly of the beast. <sighs> That's the business end of the fucking arbor. And, uh, let's see if she's all set up right. Alright, so we got her turning. And, uh, I got some water here. Now, last year I actually installed a pump in this thing, but I never once tried it out. I'll see if she works. Thank you. 
Well, I'll be goddamned if this thing ain't working. So basically, I put this pump on here at the end of last year, and uh, she's doing what she's supposed to be doing, it looks like. Now what I want to do is put this sponge so it kind of, the water just kind of hits the sponge here. So I'm gonna put a little more water in there. Holy shit, I can't believe this thing works the way it does. I never tried it out. You know where I got the pump from? An old cat food water dish. Funny, right? That's where I got the pump from. So, that's pretty badass. Can't believe it works. Alright, so this is gonna be awesome. Dude, I keep losing my chat. Gimbal loves it throws up the monkey emote. All right. All right, guys. So what we do is, I can't remember which one's the heavy grit and which one's the light grit, but I would say this uh, pink one, I think, is the heavier of the two grits. You can dip the stone in water, and you just go on there and let her rub up against that pink. You know, and then you rock the one grit for a little while. Then you switch it to the other grit. And uh, that's how they polish stones, like really quick. Otherwise, if you don't want to do it that way, you don't have the time to use this machine here, all you gotta do is put it in the old rock tumbler. Fucking run a little of this stuff on there, a little polish. I got it, I got all different types, see? You start off with, uh, you know, the real thick stuff, and then you just go to a finer one, and then when you pull it out, they're already shined up for you. So, I mean, anybody can do this shit. You could just get away with the cheap tile saw, cut the shapes out, and then throw them in the grinder to finish them off. Or uh, throw them in the uh, tumbler to finish them off. That's how you do it in the winter, when you don't want to freeze. Just come out in the garage, knock out a few of these. All right, yeah, this baby's running good. Pump's working good. I mean, all you really need to do is just, just splash the wheels just enough. They get over the top here, and uh, you know when you, when you hold it on here long enough, it'll start to heat the stone up too. So once the stone heats up, that's when it's time to dip her in the water, cool her off, because you can. You can shatter these things too. You can get them too hot and they'll explode. Certain types of shit. See, you just sit there and you just rub it on there like that. And uh, this is how the pros do it. Oh man, I gotta turn this baby down a little bit. She's really spraying now. Holy shit. Holy shit, guys. This baby's really spraying now. Holy shit! <laughs> She's spraying too much, guys! She's spraying too much! <laughs> guys! She works too good! She works too good, boys! <laughs> Just spray the shit out of me. Now I'm soaked. But, uh, whatever, whatever, we're back to it. We just get this thing dialed back in. Just get her right back in there. Yeah, she spread the shit out of me. She spread the shit out of me, Timmy! How long do you tumble it? Well, I'll tell you something about butt monkey. Uh, what you do is every week you just, you go basically a month. You can do it in a month. And every, just once a week, you just switch the grit. And you got, I think you got like four or five grits you go through. It's super easy. And uh, you can get a, you can get rock tumblers for mega cheap on Harbor Freight. So if you want to get a rock tumbler, it's only about 50 bucks for a double barrel. And, uh, 
you know, you just go on there, order one of them. They give you the grit with it, I'm pretty sure. If they don't, you just can get the grit off of Amazon for mega cheap. Like, all this stuff is super cheap. Ha ha ha. Hell yeah, we got some clips going on. Yeah, she got wet all right. Real wet. Ha. Here's our stone right now. Let's see if this thing pops up. That little slideshow on the left is on uh, all stuff I did in the past. You know, it's all like shit I did in different streams. Uh, I work with crystals once in a while. And uh, that's pretty tight. Just trying to line this thing up. I don't know if I got it centered yet. It doesn't look centered to me. Wait. I think I got it. There it is. See, there's a certain way you gotta hold these things and then they can, the camera will pick it up. There it is, oh, I, I think I just saw a nice, uh, nice shot of it. So, now that we have our stone polished, uh, we could easily go, you know, a long time on this or a short time, but just for stream sake, I'm just gonna do a little bit more. Looks like she's actually starting to get pretty good. I'm gonna run it on this white one, which is, I think, I think if I remember, it was the finisher one. Ideally, I'd wanna go through five different wheel phases. I have different wheels behind this thing, but it's a pain in the ass to pull these wheels off and change them back in. That's kind of a pain in the butt, and that's why I'm just not doing it like that right now. Ideally, that was what what you'd want to do. You know, you go up the level, so you start with a heavier grit, and then you work your way up to a finer grit at the end, and then it'll be like glass when it's done. But I just don't have the time for that right now, guys. All right, gentlemen and ladies, so I'm gonna put this baby right in there. Ooh, that's a nice fit. And as you see, we have ourselves a steampunk bracelet thing. Yeah, it slips right on. I think guys can wear them. Looks pretty tight. Look, like steampunky. Now, as I see it's drying, I'm starting to see that it wasn't the best uh, polished job. I can always use, like, if I really want to be, like, fucking lazy, I could take this uh, clear coat and I can clear coat the stone, and uh, that'll look good, too. Or I can just put it in the rock tumbler and just polish her up. I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day, and then uh, I'm going to give it to my wife when she gets home. All right, so we've got our steampunk bracelet, and uh, from here... I say we make ourselves a ring, a steampunky ring. The value God puts on human life. This, 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 this life, this life, this life, this life. The, the pieces of life begin to fit, and the dignity he, he gives to the human body. He, he, he means for you to be toward others. You, you learn from Jesus how to live a life. Live a life.
All right, so we have here a whole bunch of rings I made at the end of last season. And uh, I haven't finished them yet or came anywhere close, but they're made out of copper pipes. So basically, I let them sit here and I want them to kind of weather and get like, you know, oxidated and just, you know, kind of start looking like shit. Because that's kind of the style I'm looking for is just kind of the style that looks like extremely old and weathered. So I will show you guys where we're at with these. And we are here with all these steampunk rings. And if I put them on all at one time and punch someone in the face, wow, fuck. I don't even want to think what that would be like. Alright, so let's, uh, let's cut some stones for these. Let's put some stones in some of these here, guys. I got this, this set up right here. These are real tight. So these all have little gears on the sides as to signify that you're a member of the steampunk army. Nautilus squad. So I will let you take a look at all of these. Look at these different things. Cool, right? Yeah, I think they are. Alright, so... What I'm gonna do here is move this back over to the left. We will go like this a little bit. Get her dialed in. We're dialing her in, boys! I can flip that like that. Alright. Bucks Workshop, the Game of Stones. For in the Game of Stones, you slip up. Like you cut. Alright, so let's see here if we can uh, find ourselves a stone for this, uh, for one of these little ranks. This would be cool. I found this in there. I thought I found like some some sort of a good pill. But uh, that's a stone, so you don't wanna you don't wanna eat that folks. But it sure looks like a pill. Look at this one. See in this one right here it's super shiny. But what it has on it is a uh I can't really tell with this fucking lighting if I go like this. Folks. I think that's dinosaur. So what we're going to do here is dig a little deeper see what we can find. Holy shit, you know what this is? This is Malachite. Oh, there it is. I thought this will fit on one of them fuckers. Alright, turns out the Malachite's gonna work. Look at that thing. Awesome. So what I'll do here is uh, take my Sharpie and mark off the cut area. Actually, I have a dollar ring that this might look even better in.
We're gonna put it in one of these bad boys. It's a lacquer black ring. Nothing special except for it's black. I think it'll look sweet with this piece of malachite. I wish I could tell you more about malachite, but all I know is it looks badass and it's green, so. I know that's this is what it is because that's the shade of green that it generally is. Alrighty, let's see if we can get this thing to fit. We are just a bear. This stuff is real soft. I gotta be careful, otherwise the ripper will rip it to shreds along my hand. <laughs> All right, looks like we're gonna be able to place it in there already. So what we do is we just press it in there real gently, but firm, folks. Real gently, but firm. And we just go like this. Uh oh, broke the sides. The sides got bent a little bit. So just pop those back up. Uh, you can get these ring blanks on uh, on Amazon or eBay for like five bucks or uh, ten bucks for five. I like them because they're black and whatever stone you put in generally looks pretty cool. They're not like silver or anything. They're not worth anything. They're just cool looking. But everything can't be worth something. So sentimental value is what's worth the most. All right, there we go. All right, guys, you guys want to see what we made? Oh, shit. Oh, let's see here, we'll put it right there. Good. Right up there, look at that shit. Oh, that looks good. So I'm gonna put that on, we'll put that on my pinky finger. There we go, I'm gonna wear that for the rest of the day. Hell yeah, boys, look at that. Let's see if it turns, if it switches here. There it is. There it is. Holy shit skis. Is that tight or what? The green heart. Would you believe I just lost the stone on this nasty garage floor? Oh, there it is. It's so pretty that it just sticks right out. All right, so we'll just put it back in there and press it down a little bit better. Hey Rust, it is about damn time my friend. Yeah, well, life gets busy, you know that. It, it just gets real busy. And uh, sometimes it's easier just to sit down on the PC and chop out on some video games, but god damn it, you can't beat the workshop. The workshop is just uh, good times, had by all. So. Right now I'm trying to get this ring back in its setting and I could have spent a little more time on it, but I didn't want to get away at too much of the too much of the stone. It was starting to kinda of go pretty quick, so I got no one to say when. And, uh, that's where we're at now. Alright, so uh, that's that. Right there. Thanks for the tip, Butt Monkey. I should be doing that. I'm just so lazy, you know. But at the end of this whole thing, we'll do like a recap and uh, talk about it, talk about our feelings. 
we'll all talk about our feelings. I'll uh, do a good cry for everybody. And uh, that'll be the part of the stream that I used to never do, but I'm going to start. It's going to become a... We're going to finish it off with a cry screw the stream. Where I uh, weep. That's when a different crowd will tune in. You know, the people that are in, into cry streams. Having a little trouble with the stone. I might need to dab it with a little uh, E3000. And then it'll stick better and it'll just look better. Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. Steampunk wristband. Okay. You know, and the thing about the stuff I make, it's not really fine jewelry. It's more like, I guess they call it like costume jewelry. But whatever, you know, I just think it's cool looking. So whatever it is. I mean, if people are just buying things because they're worth money, you're buying them for the wrong reason. There we go. That's how you want it to look. Just like that, boys. Fuck, you can make one of these in two minutes and go find somebody to, your sweetheart, to go give it to. So, I'm going to put it off to the side. I don't want to lose that stone. All right, so what's next here? We made ourselves a sweet bracelet, a ring. Let's see, uh, maybe we could knock out a cool necklace. So I got this thing right here I was working on earlier, and the back of it's uh, clad with gears, just to give it a little bit of weight. And I think it'd be a perfect thing to do right now. You know what that means? We gotta go back to the rock box. Alrighty, let me just make sure this is broadcasting. If you folks at home could see the shit that's, it's, I'm in my garage, there are parts, cords everywhere, cameras, originally I had three cameras, but one of them crapped out on me, so. Alright, so this is the rock area, and uh, let's dig around in there and see what we can find. Let's see what we have. This is some sort of, I forgot what this stuff is. I think it's called Cherry Creek Jasper or some shit like that. The, the rock hounds know what all this stuff is. I'm still learning. Willow Creek Jasper? Something like that. It's cool looking. It's like a thing that a lot of people do. We got some agate here. Hold on a second. I gotta rip that. All right, here we go. So. If we put this light on there, I can show you guys with some of the different semi-precious stones we're working with today. So we got that. Look at this. Crazy, right? That's a rock. It looks all pan. Here, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to take a look here. All right, so we got to go. Dude, I don't know about you guys, but I think this music's pretty dope. I think this music's pretty dope. All right, look at that. Look at that, folks. We could use that on our necklace. 
I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Let's go even deeper. Eye of the Pharaoh. We'll just throw that back in there. What's this one, folks? Holy moly. And uh, all this stuff looks real rough right now, but man, I tell you, you polish it up and it'll blow your mind to smithereens. Ooh, I like this one. I don't remember what kind of stone this one was, but it's kind of a mint green, some sort of a jasper. Pretty much everything is. But what we have here is what we're gonna cut. Folks, Tiger's Eye. Look at that shit. Timmy, you ever seen a Tiger's Eye? It's kind of uh, holographic in, in a way if you spin it back and forth. I think the Tiger's Eye is the way to go right now. I don't wanna fuck this up, but I could very well do that. Tiger's eye, folks. That's what we're cutting next. Stay tuned. I hope you guys are all having a good time. Uh, it, this stream's generally pretty fun. You know, and uh, if it weren't so much work, I'd probably do more of it. If I had my own, like, little building that I could just do this 24 hours, it would be ideal. And uh, yeah, I like to play this, you know, chilled out music. I think it goes good with rock cutting. You know, I'll drink about 100 Mountain Dew Kickstarts. For you, uh, for the folks in the UK, I rant and rave about Mountain Dew Kickstart. It's all I drink, and I'll show you what it looks like. I don't think you guys have this over there. If you do, you're gonna want to get one because it's the best. This is fruit punch. It's like an energy drink that's not super jacked up, so it just kind of keeps you going. They don't sponsor me. I wish they did. If they did, I would fucking plug them every 10 minutes. So, for those of you in the UK. I talk about it, I, I know you guys haven't heard of this stuff, 
Yeah, you guys just have the, the regular shit. This shit is like half the calories of a regular one, but like 10 times the adrenaline boosting power. All right, enough of the commercial here. Let's see what I did with that uh, piece of fucking tiger's eye. Here it is. Cut this some bitch. All right, let's see here. We'll go. We'll get this thing lined up right. Oh, if I could just get a cut out of it right here. Oh, I can. Yes. Yes. It's gonna be perfect. Now this is gonna require uh, a couple of different tools on the bench for this one to work. We're going to need to use the, the short saw and the ripper. So first we'll short saw it, then we'll rip it up. Rip it. So that's where my cut's going to come out of, and I'll just kind of lay in the middle here. Tight, right? Tiger's eye is so sweet. I think it comes from Africa. Pretty sure. The reflective qualities are awesome. Gimbal, someday I'll send you some real Mountain Dew. Kickstart. You know, they even make a kickstart in the same flavor as the basic Mountain Dew. It's like a super Mountain Dew. I fucking love this stuff. I mean, I, I drink way too much of it. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna scoop up all these rings here. I think what we'll do is we'll just start off with the Ripper, Cal Ripken Jr. Oh, there's that ring again. All right. And Tiger's Eye is a real thrill thing because it's got, I think because it's got the iron in it. I've used what's called Tiger Iron before. Uh, last year I cut Tiger Iron on the stream and it was the same way where it would flake away. Like a piece of Tiger Iron is very similar to Tiger's Eye except where it looks like this. You see all the greenery in it. And, uh, but it's also really brittle stuff because of all the veins and stuff. So. That's that's your uh, tiger's iron, and this is tiger eye. Tiger eye has a little bit more reflectiveness going on than tiger iron, but they're both made of iron, a certain amounts. I don't know. If it didn't flake so bad, I'd make a lot more shit with tiger iron.
And I, like I said earlier, I'm just using this one to kind of rough it out. You rough it out with the, the short saw, and you finish her off with the old ripper. And then, I mean, it's real easy to kind of match and mix it. We're just gonna get her to the right. We gotta take a little bit off the sides. What you can also do is say I got it in my uh, setting. I'm gonna mark right here. Now, as long, once I can't see black anymore, I've taken enough off the side probably. You know, it's a good gauge. So we'll just take that bad boy, unplug her, and we'll plug back in the ripper. L Ripski. All right, so what we're to do is give her a little tiltski, and this is the black side that I used the sharpie on, and I'm just gonna give her a little bit of water, keep the blade, you know, nice and moist, and then we'll just, you know, give her some of this action. We do a little of this, you know, and uh, you know, we take a little bit off, and we round the edges and you know, work the stone. Just let the blade do all the work. You're just, a lot, you're just riding shotgun. Just, you know, give it a little nudge. Oh, see that? I got my nail on there. Didn't hurt me though. No big deal. All right, so we just gotta take a little bit off, a uh, little bit off the side still. Fucking steampunk, man. This would probably be my fourth or fifth year of lapidary, and uh, every season I learn a little more about stones, about technique. You know, and it's just all about developing your own technique. All right, so we're just gonna need a little bit more off the side. And you know, this tiger's eye is actually pretty good to use. Like, it's real, it's real soft and something. It's easy to cut. Some stones will just fucking go forever before you can remove any material. Like, uh, quartz is kind of like that. Silica kind of gums up the blade. But uh, this stuff actually works pretty good. And like I said earlier, just keep on dabbing the root water on top. Hey yeah, guys, someday when I retire, I'm going to have the baddest lapidary shop ever, and I'm just going to make cool treasure all day long, smoke big tubers, legally, because by then it'll be legal. Just live off my creations. And uh, basically all I'm trying to do is get her set to the setting right now. We're dangerously close. Dangerously. Yeah, you know, I've been talking about this lapidary stream forever, and it's like my biggest problem. It's like I get anxiety. Isn't that weird? You wouldn't think I'd be a person that would get anxiety, but the whole setup gives me, like, fucking anxiety. And I just want to do it, and I'm scared to set it up, and it's, it's like a weird thing, and, uh... So today I said, you know what, I, I, no matter what, there'll be no excuses today. Today, I make it happen. I even told somebody at work, I said, today it happens. I must make it happen. And uh, it's happening, we're doing it. We're doing it. I mean, I think what some people think is like, this is like a really big thing for me, but it's just like, uh, you know, kind of like some people just, some days they want to paint a picture. For me, having the studio allows me to have those days where I can just be like, oh, I want to make something for my wife. And then I'll make something, and maybe I won't touch the shop for a couple weeks. That's just kind of my, that's, that's about the importance of this stuff with me. But I know people like watching it, and uh, God damn it, it's like, if people like watching it, it's something pretty cool to stream.
Holy shit. We got a lot of people in here. We got the All-Stars. Ernie Permers here? With a fucking Truck Murphy? Nice. Ernie. I love those things you keep putting into the chill zone. You can post whatever you want in there. Close. She sure does dry out that wheel. You know, I founded the Lapidary community on Twitch. I should be tagging that too. But there aren't a lot of people that look into Lapidary these days, so it's better for me to tag Spock Army than Lapidary. I'm not going to say I'm the only lapidary on Twitch because there is this other dude that does it and he's pretty awesome but I forgot his name. If I ever find it, I'll let everybody know. I don't think he's as entertaining. I mean, that's just me being honest, but he is awesome nonetheless. Alright, so what we're at right now is we are right where you want to be. Just real close, actually. Real close. Halfway in. All right, I think that might, that, that put us in there. That put us in there, look at that, folks. I mean, it's a little loose, but we'll be able to glue her down. You know, and you can kind of see the contrast. So I guess now all we gotta do is uh, kind of round her out. And then give her a nice polish and I mean we could leave it flat like that and raw, but I think once we polish it it'll look amazing. When Holden was in town I can tell a Holden McNeely story here if anybody knows who that is. Uh, when he was in town, at one point it was like day two, I think, the end of day two or maybe the beginning of day three, and I had realized that I only drank kickstarts, not even water, for like two days, just straight kickstart, Mountain Dew kickstart. And uh, when he left, the last night before I had to go back to work, I was puking so hard from all the, like the 30 kickstarts that I had drank in the past two days. And uh, it was quite the sight, I'll tell you that much. It was like a kickstart hangover. And we had a lot of fun. Like yeah, that whole week was awesome. We could have done a month, I think, and it would have been ridiculous. Me, him, the McManwich. Cammy and Barrett's. God, we had the time of our lives. It was like a cool staycation for me because uh, basically it was like everybody I watch on Twitch coming to my house or coming to somebody's house, coming to my town. Fucking sweet. Steampunk bracelet.
Look at that. That's what we're going for. That looks awesome. You know, and then we take that and we put it in this. Just like that. Snap, and there she is, folks. Look at that. I might sell this. If anyone's interested, I might sell this. We're going back to the old school. We now have our boss steampunk bracelet, and to go with it, a killer necklace, folks. You still have time, Gimbal. You still have time to, uh, you know, pick up a hobby. I mean, I've never been to Thailand, dude. You've been there. That that sounds pretty fucking amazing, and uh, I feel kind of unproductive hearing that. I know what I'd do there. I can't mention it on stream, but I know what I'd do there. <laughs> so, for right now, I'm just going to kind of let, let this thing rest for a little bit. I'm probably just going to coat it with... Uh, with uh, that hard coating because I think it'll just pop a lot more than if I try to polish it with what I got. But we got that. We got that ring. I already lost it. There it is. Malachite ring. That's pretty too. Pretty cool. And uh, my next... What do I make next? Huh. Well, let's see here. Alright, what to make next? I just got a really cool idea while looking through this table of uh, different items for making different things. And I was thinking maybe I would just make just a simple pendant. Alrighty. I didn't have to do that, but I thought, why not? Why not show them both? So let's dig around in this bucket here. Check it out. 
This one kind of looks like a dick and balls. Doesn't it? Can I show this on Twitch? Ever since I've had it, I thought this looked like a dick and balls. What do you folks think? Found a good one. Dick and balls. The audience ha has it at dick and balls. Murphy 420 here, getting ready to cut this bad boy into uh, something pretty cool. So take a look at that. It's going to look sweet. We'll put the squid in front of it. It'll look all crazy. Someone will want to wear it. start this bad boy on the old uh, cutter so well we don't want that in the picture <laughs> so what we'll do here is we'll just do what we've been doing maybe we can hook this up like that all right so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna Trace it out here. Shout out to Cheech and Chong. All right. You never want to let any of this shit get dry. Once it's dry, you're fucked. Take it from the buck. 
you always want to keep it wet. These stones are sweet. I get them at these crazy mineral shows where all these weirdos go. And you gotta be just as weird as the weirdos to fit in, which I do pretty good. I do pretty good when I'm there. I like to uh, kind of act as if I'm kind of like a James James Bond mixed with like a, I, I, I have the persona of a James Bond mixed with an Indiana Jones when I go to these rock shows. And uh, people think I'm fucking the real deal. And uh, you have to know how to bullshit the bullshitters, which I do, because I'm generally full of shit, so I fit in pretty good at them shows, and uh, I usually score some pretty, pretty good deals. Alright broskies and ladies, what we're going to do now is finish the shape on this uh, cabochon, if you will. We call these cabochons. And then we're going to add it to this uh, little fucking thing here, and then we're going to do a little bit of other stuff to it. So, stay tuned, folks. First we'll do that. Damn, I'm digging this music, guys. Fucking some groove stuff here. Like, if you ain't grooving to this shit right now, you might as well throw yourself off a bridge. I'm just gonna address the elf in the room.
Don't be so hard on yourself, Ernie. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm going to tell you one thing. If you're going to get hurt without a guard, chances are the guy that gets hurt without the guard gets hurt with the guard. It's a rule of thumb. Like, those people just inherently always get hurt. Whereas, I work with my hands and in fucking millions of different ways. I'm just, I just never get hurt, knock on wood. I mean, we get a little, bunk, little nicks and whatnot, but the guy that loses the finger, you know, a lot of times he's done all kinds of things. Like, there's been lots of accidents with that guy, right? <laughs> Blinded by his own finger. Shit. She's getting dried up. We gotta drop a little moisture on her. You know what I mean? Keep the dust down. Digging the soundtrack. This is a tribute to uh, Cowboy Bebop, as it would be. right there if you see right there I just blasted that thing and I still got a finger I still got a finger boys so if I didn't lose it just now but I did have a discussion with my father about doing a stream where I would like stage an injury every stream just to get more people and then every stream there'd be another bandage on my hand but I never did that eventually I'd actually have an accident and everybody would think it was all part of the show you know like folks it's all part of the show as my fingers flopping all over the place. Now, if you knew my brother, he's the one who gets, uh, he's broken damn near every bone in his body. So, he's the one that gets injured, not me. I'm more of the artist of the family. I have gotten injured before though. The first stream, I poked my thumb with a Dremel tool. It sucked. Yeah, but you know, I mean, everybody's got their creativity thing, you know, just as long as you're doing something. What we got in chat? We got some stuff going on in chat here? is a whole different story, Ernie. That's like fucking... You're gonna lose something if you barely touch that. This is more like touching a, uh... Like a fingernail sander, basically. Mountain Dew Kickstart Black Cherry. One of the finest drinks I've ever had.
What's cooking? Special bell peppers and beef. Fucking workshops running, guys. Do you guys like the wooden background? I, I felt like that kind of gave it a workshop look. And then I green screen that shit over that. This is actually my old PC that I'm streaming with right now. She's still kind of a beast. For this, uh, these simple streams. And this little, uh, this little flat lap will shape just about any stone, too. As long as you just keep dabbing a little water on there, you'll be able to, uh, cut just about anything. It's good for simple cabochons. I mean, you could facet this shit, but it would take a lot of precision. If you would, uh, what some people will do is they'll run, like, a dowel. They'll get the dowel game on. <laughs> and then they have, like, a, uh... It'll look almost like a octagon at the end of it, and then they just will lay it on there, turn it to the next edge of the octagon, and keep flipping it. And that's a real primitive way of cutting a, an accurate facet. And uh, that's how they do it in some countries as well. They'll have like three or four different octagons, or you know, as, as many sides as you want to put on that diamond or fucking stone. Too much work for me, that's why I just do the, the you know, half cabochons, the domes, if I do that even. Sometimes I just like to leave them raw like this and then polish them. Pretty cool looking stone, I must say. Yeah, if I had a standalone garage that wasn't so close to my neighbor's places, I would exclusively stream this shit. Unfortunately, I live in a duplex, so I gotta be kind of chill. Everybody's at work right now, so I'm able to do what I gotta do, but if I could do this all day long, this stream would never end. This would be like a fucking everyday thing. So, so right now, I'm just kind of learning all this stuff. Someday, it will be something that I do exclusively. Like when I either if I retire someday or what, this will be my hobby. Maybe even my career. Self-taught lapidary. And, uh, you know it's funny because I've gotten a ton of support from the folks at home on Twitch. Like, more support in this than I've ever... And it's hard to say, you know, hey, this isn't something I exclusively do. I just kind of picked it up like people pick up, you know, hobby painting and whatnot. But there's so much equipment that you really got to know if you want to do it. And uh, the deeper into it I get, the better the equipment gets, the better I get, the 
better everything gets. Fucking funner it gets. Like, right now, our room looks like the fucking Taj Mahal, because I made my wife, you know, 50-some fucking sweet pendants. She's got, like, three steampunk bracelets. She don't even wear this shit. She just likes it. Take a, look, a moment to check into chat here. We got some stuff going on in chat. Fu Manchu, welcome aboard. How's it going, brah? Welcome to the workshop. First one of the season. I uh, was kind of slacking for a little bit there. Yeah, that sucks, Ernie. I know how that is, man. I've definitely injured myself before on the job. I've never cut my finger off, thank God. Uh, but it would definitely suck if that were to happen. Years ago, I sanded the end of my thumb off in wood shop. That was a bummer. <laughs> Настоящее путешествие. Когда ты давно забыл, откуда едешь, и ты без понятия, где закончится твой путь. Я верю в это. Пластилиновый бег. You know, it's it's an ultra relaxing hobby. Just running this thing over this blade and removing a millis like a just the tiniest little bit of material. Something about it. At the end of the day, when it snaps into that fitting, it's like the greatest thing ever. I fucking love how lit Chad is right now, guys. You know, I, I'm I'm too far away from the computer to be able to read it. But I can see it chugging along, and I love it! I love it! And I love the raid train! The raid train's amazing! More support- I've never gotten more support in my life than I get from the raid train! Good bunch of people. Dude, if, I don't know if you guys have noticed lately, but it's pretty, getting pretty big. And, uh, you know, uh, sometimes I'll look at, like, the notes and shit. And it's a good community. Like, you guys actually set something up that seems to be thriving at the moment. I'm glad to be a part of it. This is because of the sport from the raid train, actually. That's why I'm uh, streaming the workshop today. You guys kind of pushed me into it, and I love it. Thank you. That's what I need.
All right, boys and girls. I think we might have done it. Let's see here. Here we go. Let's see if she fits. Huh? There's still a little, little more to go. You know, I was going to put the squid over this, but I don't really want to cover up this super cool looking stone. So I've got these other uh, cabochon cups that might work pretty good. They're cat shaped. See how that looks. Oh yeah, that looks cool. We will snap these into the cat cabochons. Cups. That's a lot to say. Still not able to fit quite right yet. That looks kind of cool. I think we'll have to round the edges for this one, though. I think it, this one's going to look super tight. Look at that shit. That actually looks pretty good on camera. Or we could do that. Or we could do this. We could do this. Actually, that looks pretty good, too. You know, we do that. Or we do that and put this over that. Oh, actually, this does look kind of cool. I get a good shine on that. Oh. Actually, I think I still like this best. Maybe I'll stick with the original plan. Who would rock this badass... Oh! <laughs> this badass amulet! Wow. You get the idea. You get the idea. Tune into the Instagram later on and we'll fucking... You'll, you can see what I came up with. That'll be like, uh destination type of thing. If you got to come out to Buck's Workshop on Instagram, just click on the link down below. And later on, I'll post all the finishings. And you can see what I chose to come up with, folks. You can see. It'll be like an interactive thing. It'll be tight. All right, so we made the Malachite Ring. We made... The Tiger Eye Steampunk Amulets. That was kind of a shitty, shitty shot of the ring. Here, we'll go like this. We'll go like that, and we'll even go like that. There you go, folks. They're not polished yet, but we will polish them. Look at that, we made that shit today. 
you guys help me? All right, we made this. That's kind of tight. Steampunk bracelet. We go to a convention right now. I can leave this house and go straight to a steampunk convention, and they would know that I am a legit steampunk uh, baron. Listen to that sweet, sweet. Is that a saxophone I hear? Oh yeah, that's a saxophone. Mmm, like honey butter. Should I make another ring? We can make another ring here. I think I got time for that. What time is it anyways? 12.30? I can go for one more item. We'll make one more item and then I gotta take a nap. Because I gotta work tonight. Let me see what I got here. At this time, I'm busting out petrified tree bark. This tree bark is like a million years old, literally. It sounds cool, sounds like glass. I pulled it out of the rock tumbler a couple weeks ago in hopes that I could finally use it for something. And I still don't know what to use it for, folks. But it's really cool. It was once wood, now it's stone. It's ancient. I originally got this big piece of it and then it just broke off into all these little pieces but then the little pieces like polished up so it looked really tight cool right I think that's cool I think that's cool folks But I had this idea with these little, these little frames right here. I was gonna see if I could take and cut one of these pieces of petrified tree bark to fit in this frame. I bet I could do it, boys. I bet I could do it, girls. This is one I made a long time ago. I've had on a few vacations now, and uh, I made this on the last year's stream. But it's uh, petrified tree bark. Know, petrified wood and uh, it's got really cool really cool look to it it's kind of like a gray ghostly thing I wear that type of shit when I go to Vegas I cover myself up in all these crazy stones and then walk around like I'm the stone pimp so what we got to do here is now we got this tre petrified tree bark I'm gonna take and I'm gonna just use my sharpie I'm gonna use my sharpie and I'm gonna fucking Use it to mark off the area that I don't want to cut, you know, and uh, next step is back to this ch tiny chopper, tiny chop saw, which is just a regular tile saw. Everybody's got one of these if they've ever had to do any tiling. And you can, you can use a regular tile blade, but I use this fucking crazy diamond blade that I got for like 30 bucks. Wrong chord. So we go like that, folks. And I'm just going to take this little guy and just try to... We don't want to shatter it because he's our real brittle. Oh! He's going to finish her off just like that. Just like that, Ernie. Look at this. Ooh. I need a little more still. Let's see what we got here. Just a little more. Alright. Pop, pop, 
All right, so we have cut it to the right length. And what we'll do after that, give her a little shine with the shirt, a little shirt shine. Sure shit. And then uh, I'm gonna see if I got any, any glue around here so I can mount this thing. Well, at the moment, I don't think I have any glue on hand, so we're going to have to save that for later, but I'll show you guys how it turns out. I think this is going to look really cool. It's that piece of uh, petrified wood, you know, so unfortunately, I don't have all the parts that I should have in the workshop right now, but I do have a fair amount of them. Look at this cool, uh, cool ass stone we get cut and put in a frame. Try putting that in a frame while we're at it. It's all or nothing here on the workshop today. What we're gonna do is go like this. Cut it just right there. This is risky, because this is actually a pretty fucking sweet looking rock. And for me to start fucking around with it, it takes some big nuts. But you know what, folks? That's what you got to do. It's all or nothing on this stream. Dude, for those of you that were here last year, you seen me blow up about 20 crystals. Huh. That shit sucked. Whoop. All right, let's cut it. Like I said, folks, it's all or nothing here on this stream. All or nothing. You guys see that shit about Goldberg from the Mighty Ducks? He's all strung out on meth now. It looks like shit. I don't know why I brought that up. Just wonder if you guys saw that little TMZ. Seems he's on a lot of meth these days. Alright, so this thing's probably the right length, but let's uh let's even her up. Let's even her up a little bit. So we're gonna turn this right here back to our uh back to our ripper. Maybe we'll adjust it a little bit, get a nice height going. Nice. Alright. Alright. Yeah, dude, he got in some big trouble. He's stealing something, Ernie. Like, uh, I think he got caught. He got caught, dude. Oh, he's all fucked up, and he's walking around all fucked up on drugs, and they arrested him. And, uh, he looks like shit. 
We're the same age, and he looks like absolute garbage. Look it up, bro. Goldberg, GMD. I'm sure that'll pull it up. Nah, it's a sad deal. I hope he gets his act together. Oh, being a Minnesota man, any Mighty Duck news, we are all about it up here. You know, the Minnesota Mighty Ducks in the movie, not the Anaheim Mighty Ducks in real life, started here. But the guy looks like shit, that's what I'm trying to say. Stay away from meth, folks. If you take anything away from this stream, I'd like you to take away the uh, public service announcement that I'm trying to convey to you. Stay away from meth. It's no good. Or is it too good that you must stay away because you will instantly be addicted? I don't know. Alright, well this shit's gonna be cool when I'm done. This crystal that I'm cutting right now is, uh, it's a Botswana agate, and, uh, these are really cool. Hit that with a little moisture. We're gonna rip a little bit more. Steampunk bracelet, folks. You, anyone can make it. Just let me show you how. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit more here. We're just taking off layers. Sexy layers, folks. Sexy layers. Who's in chat? Fu Manchu. Do you have a Discord for the channel? You know, Fu Manchu, I do have a Discord. It's called Bucks Lounge. I'm sure someone will send you a link. Hey, Ernie, you want to post a link to Bucks Lounge? There's a few things you can check out in there. It's not exactly for the channel, but it's my Discord, and I uh, put a lot of stuff up there. Ernie will throw a link up there if he gets a chance. Oh, he's, he's at work. He may not be able to throw a link up there, but someone will. If they don't, I'll throw a link up there later on. Oh, there's a link. Thanks, buddy. I'm like a mile away from the computer. Yeah, you know, I, I post some of my creations on that channel. I have an Instagram that's pretty decent. A lot of my shit goes up on. this thing to just crack and fucking blow up so we just gotta take it easy take our time kick back and enjoy the ride when you get impatient when you start fucking up you start breaking stuff and uh I've been known to get impatient folks Ah yeah, Buck's Workshop, where a man can just come and watch another guy cut some stone. You know, I did a stream the other day, it was like Photoshopped, and I was 100% surprised anybody hung out in there. But it actually had a lot of people showed up. Uh, I was just amazed. 
I'm still amazed that anybody showed up to watch that. It's kind of boring. Alright, so. This looks good. It looks like it's going to fit. There it is, folks. It's just a little cut. We'll glue that in there. And then paint up the sides with the, uh, some sort of a like uh, coating that I like to use. It's like a polyurethane coating. And uh, I think that will look awesome. That's the one, that's the side we want. That's Botswana agate for anybody that's home. Put that little frame around it, it actually makes it look kind of tight. Let's see here. This side ha is not very level, so I'm going to cut her down. You gotta be careful, this shit will heat up. It'll even glow if you leave it on there long enough. And that's when it starts to crack, so we gotta get a little moisture on our blade. And really all you need is a drip, but I don't have the drip set up yet. So. Gotta use the water. You can sit there and you can go back and forth and bring her down a little bit. And I'll tell you, Fu Manchu, I'm not normally, I mean, I love the, the creative, I'm a creative guy, but I, I stream a lot of crazy video game shit, too. These guys will tell you, like, I fucking, I've, I've streamed some crazy shit, you know. Arcade games and whatnot, I guess it's not that crazy, but I'm crazy, thus making the shit crazy. So. There we go. There we go, everybody. So look what we made. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Because you guys were with me every step of the way. I'm going to glue that thing down. And... God, those look cool. I fucking love you guys. I can say that as a heterosexual male. I can tell you boys that I love you. And be confident. I saw a, uh, so I've been streaming maybe like a couple years now. Maybe for one full year for sure. But when I got into this, I was pretty big. So I was like a little over 300 pounds when I first started streaming. Like 302. And I'm like 6'3". So, you know, kind of even out. But I just saw a picture of me. And I looked huge, because now I'm like 200 pounds. Uh, and uh, you don't realize that you lose the weight until you like finally see a picture of yourself when you ha have the weight on, and you try to put on like some pants or some clothes from then, and it just trips your fucking mind out. And it was this that really got me into... Uh, You know, it was uh, this that really got me into, uh, you know, getting back in shape, got my attitude up, got my life kind of, you know, centered, pulled me out of a dark place, and here we are, having a good time. So, you know, if you ever go through some shit, well, we all do, uh, if, you can, if you can give it time, a lot of times you can pull out of it. Just buy yourself some time. Get yourself a hobby. Fucking do whatever you gotta do. Cause uh, the real world's a bitch, and I can I can tell you that much. She's a bitch. She'll uh, make you wish you weren't around sometimes. Well, I think that's gonna do it for me for today. If I didn't have to work tonight, I would roll this for another four hours. Like. Time just goes by too quick with uh, with this stream. But uh, once again, we got this sweet steampunk bracelet. If I wet it, it'll look a lot better. I'm going to give it a shine, and then I'll post the progress on Instagram. Tune into my Instagram. There's a little link at the bottom of the page. Uh, I'll have this thing posted later once we get, get her shined up a little better. 
will have. So we'll see what became of this. This thing probably is going to be a lot cooler looking. Uh, I was glad to finally cut these. I think tomorrow if I could do anything, I'm going to do a whole bunch of these things. Oh. Oh, fuck. And that's that for that one. Well, I knew I was going to break something on this stream. Be right back, folks. say that's uh you know a break in my past and now i've mended it or some shit you know whatever you want to sell it as so a lot of times super cool fix up a breaking see good as new good as new folks happy mistakes bob ross you know i mean i guess i'm not too happy with that mistake but we'll get her next time what i'm trying to tell you folks is i'm super glad you came by today I'm glad we got this off the ground. First time this summer. Uh, next time on this, we are going to try to knock out all these rings. There's, what, three left? Four left? Uh, this one's pretty badass. Malachite. So we'll do that. We'll make some more bracelets. I've got bracelets to make. Maybe not steampunk bracelets, but something a little more contemporary. Uh, we've got these rings that we could, we could put these in the tumbler and shine these up, or we could just clear coat them with the, uh, different types of whatever, uh, fucking patina. The patina? They call that patina. You know? I mean, we got, I, just to show you guys what we got, we got a whole table full of shit over here we can work with. We got different parts, we got torches, we got all kinds of shit in the workshop. And, uh, I'm just gonna hit this button real quick here. guys are having a good time and everything. Oh, are you a, uh, are you a lapidary Fu Manchu? Let me get down here and take a good look at the old chat. Some spider... that I mean it, is there like how is it cut like that with a spider in the middle is that the actual oh that's what that's what you do well fuck man I can learn from you man yeah cuz I'm just a I'm like a novice So you probably have the uh, 
like the precision flat lap, if you're being able to cut that shit. That's sick. Fucking. I wonder how I can post this in chat. Maybe like. I don't know how I can pass, but that's awesome. You're a master fastener? Oh, wow. That's tight, dude. That's fucking sweet. We'll have to chat in Discord sometime. I mean, I'm, I'm just like all about learning in this whole thing, you know? I mean, I don't have a lot of money to buy this sick equipment, but I'm just kind of messing around with, uh, you know, cabochons. That might, that'll probably work, Ernie. Nice work, Ernie. Hey, if anybody wants to check out something tight, Fu Manchu just posted this sweet fucking thing that he made. Is that, uh, what did you use, quartz? That's just like quartz that you, uh, or is that a citron? I think it's called citron. Damn, dude. You never know who's gonna roll into this stream. Citrite. Cit citrine. Yeah, see, I, I'm... I'll be honest, I'm ignorant to a lot of the ways of all this stuff, but I'm learning, and, uh... I'm just an artist, like, you know, just a regular dude, so... That's awesome that you, I, you know, you rolled in on this. What do you think? enjoyed it I mean you're at the other end of the spectrum from you know what I'm using this is all just junk built into stuff to cut stones but uh you know I think it's still kind of enjoyable <laughs> hell yeah dude I mean I went to a pretty awesome gems gem show I'm from Minnesota so they're they're like uh we're all about the, you know, superior agates up here. And I, I go to this one rock show every year. It's the Minnesota, like, Mineral Society's annual rock show. That's where I buy all my uh, minerals from. And uh, I met, the, my first run there, I met so many lapidaries that taught me so many things. And it was fucking amazing, because I just got into it, and all of a sudden, like, everybody's showing me all this crazy stuff that they're using, techniques, things that they've made different you know all that stuff and uh the whole hobby is amazing and everybody that does it's usually pretty cool a lot of weirdos though at the mineral shows like rock guys in general there's a lot of there's a lot of weird dudes in the crew in the crowd but other than that i'm kind of a weirdo too so whatever <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, I play a lot of crazy games usually. Uh, this is this was the reason I got into Twitch was to, to do this. And uh, but I'm a big gamer as well, so I play like I stream arcade stuff from back in the day. Uh, my favorite stuff is the full motion video games where they use real actors from like the 90s and like uh, you know. Uh, just anything unique. I like to run a real unique stream, so fuck, man. Feel free to swing by any time when I'm doing the other th the other shit. I'll probably just be doing this for maybe the rest of the summer, and then uh, it gets so fucking cold in, uh, in Minnesota that I can't do it in the winter because my, my garage is it's fucking super cold. Oh, God, Wirehead was amazing, Gibble Baby. We, we are not done with Wirehead by any means. Holden should be playing Wirehead for Christ's sakes. He looks like Wirehead. <laughs> That's awesome, man. All I, I, is it okay if I just ask advice from you once in a while? Like, if I ever get hung up, I, I could just like you know shoot you a message. Because really, I have I don't have a guide in this whole hobby. You know, like it's I meet people on the on my road on my path, but. I don't know anybody around here that really knows anything about lapidary. YouTube's been my my main guide lately. 
<laughs> Thanks, dude. Hell yeah. Thanks for swinging by. Well, everybody, that's been the buck, the fucking game of stones, and uh, I'll see you guys later. I gotta go crash out. I've been up for days. Thanks, Gimbal. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's, uh, it's not, the concept's pretty basic, you know, it's just, you know, using different types of, uh, grits to bring down stones, and different stones have different hardnesses, and, uh, you know, like, that target, tiger eye, that was actually pretty easy to cut, which is cool. So, I don't know, you learn something every day. If you're not learning something, you need to go a little deeper in life. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, smoke one. Well, you came to the right place, buddy. Ha. All right, guys. I'll check you guys later. Thanks for swinging by, everybody. Thanks for the subscribe, Gimbal. Appreciate it, man. It's pretty fucking crazy. It's fun when I tell people at work, uh, you know, people subscribe to watch this shit, and they're like, Sometimes. <laughs> All right. Well, dude, where is Discord? I lost, or not Discord? Uh, OBS like disappeared on me. Here we go. Here we go, everybody. And I'm out. Yow!